Today it's time to repair something mine, my old pair of jeans. I don't want to throw them away, I will fix the holes so I can wear them a little bit longer. First I will fix the beer hole. Take a similar color piece from old jeans and cut out a piece that is slightly bigger than the hole. Turn the jeans inside out and remove all the wrinkles around the holes. Lay the fabric piece on top of the hole. Make sure everything is lying flat and place few pins on the sides of the fabric piece. You can use one-sided fusible interfacing instead of the fabric piece or you can use double-sided fusible interfacing to stick the fabric piece to the jeans. I will use only the fabric piece and the pins. Turn the jeans over and place pins over the ones you have placed from the other side. This way the fabric piece will stay exactly on the hole. If you don't want to use pins, you can glue the piece to the fabric with a glue stick. It won't damage the fabric and will disappear after washing. When you place the pins all around the hole, turn the jeans again and remove the first pins which are on the inside. Make sure to remove all the pins from the wrong side of the jeans. You must sew on the right side of the jeans. Now all the pins must be on the right side of the jeans. It should look like this. Now you must find a matching color thread. I will use white thread because the jeans are a light color and they will blend in. Now let's go to the machine. First decrease the stitch length. Place the jeans under the presser foot. To make it invisible, you must sew in the direction of the threads on the fabric. Make sure both pieces are lying flat and start sewing. Sew back and forth over the hole and slightly pull the jeans sideways. Sew very slowly at the beginning of the hole. Remove the pins as you go. At this point you can increase the speed, but be very careful. Usually I place my fingers at the sides of the presser foot and use them to push the fabric sideways. With my other hand I am pressing the reverse lever. Here you can see it from another angle. When you reach the end of the hole, you can stop or you can sew again over it to make it stronger. Make some lines longer and some shorter, this way they will blend in better. Here is the result. If you use the exact color thread, it will be almost invisible. Now turn the jeans inside out and cut the excess fabric close to the stitches. You can leave it like that, it won't fry a lot and you won't feel it while wearing the jeans. Now let's fix the second hole. I will try a different method. The hole is small so I won't place a fabric piece underneath. So let's go directly to the sewing machine. Place the jeans under the presser foot.
Make sure the fabric is lying flat and start sewing the same way as before. Try to sew in the same direction as the threads on the fabric. Make sure to fill up the bobbin before you start sewing, otherwise you may need to change it in the middle of the hole. When you reach the end of the hole, start moving the jeans in the other direction to sew over it again. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is the hole with the additional fabric piece and on the right is the second hole. This is how it looks like from the inside. I like the first one more. The color of the additional piece is blending with the color of the thread. The second technique is also very good, but you must have the exact color thread to make it invisible. The results are very good, but on camera it looks like the thread is shining. Now you can see how it really looks like. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you in my next video! You can leave it like that, it won't fry a lot and you won't feel it while...